All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we're going to be going over my September 2022 pickups. Quite a few video games this month, and still just one sole omnibus, unfortunately. The omnibus is just so many delays have happened in the last few months that everything is pushed back. I feel like a one month I'm just going to get 10 of them all at once, and it's going to be super expensive on the wallet, because clearly the hobby money is still being used at the moment. I just spent it on a different hobby. Um, that, that's that, that's fine. I, I don't think it'll be that crazy. I, I could see like four or five, maybe even six in one month, potentially. I really st still don't hope that that happens. I kind of like three to four is a good amount until I get caught up. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, let's talk about the sole omnibus that I picked up, which is Batman No Man's Land uh, Volume 2. I still need to pick up the road to No Man's Land to complete the set. Uh, I should buy it now. I don't even know if it's still in print. I think it is, but if and, if and if it is, I should pick it up now when there's not a lot of Omnibus, so I could at least have that entire set. Um, but, oh well. Uh, I, I, I think that, if I remember correctly, there's a lot of stuff coming in November and December. I think. I, I could be wrong on that. All right. Now let's get into the games. Splatoon 3. Didn't get this on day one. Uh, just played a little bit of the multiplayer, haven't started the single player campaign of it yet, so I, I, I really don't, I, it was just a few matches here and there, um, and I really need to get back into the groove of it. I recently started playing Splatoon 2, like the single player, uh, in preparation of, of diving into the sing. I don't, you don't have to, like the single players of these games have nothing really to do with each other in terms of a story, but they are, they are still rather enjoyable. Like if you have Splatoon and you're just getting it for the multiplayer, I suggest trying out the campaign. It is actually quite fun as well. Rather short, it took me about eight hours to beat Splatoon 2, but. Next up is uh, The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero, the deluxe edition on PlayStation 4. Arguably, the Switch and PC versions are better because they have more quality of life features. There wasn't really a lot of them that I wanted, other than the, so they have a high speed in this uh, for the PlayStation 4 version as well, but you can't control how fast it goes. So it's either the regular version or the high speed version. And apparently, I, th I think that the Switch and PC, it can actually you can actually choose the setting. So that's that's one thing that I wish I, I did have. But I'm, I'm enjoying my time. Other than that, I mean, I can still fast forward it like I normally do. Every once in a while when I get into a battle and it's not a major battle. And if you have grinding, I, I love that feature that they add in, in RPGs, turn-based RPGs. But uh, enjoying this, I, I have so many Trails games to get. And I'm honestly thinking of getting the steam deck i could play the trails uh, in the sky series on I, I actually i have the first one on vita so i could play that on vita but then the other ones i, I would have to play on pc for the second and third one and i kind of want the steam deck not just for that but that's that's that would be one of the main reasons i get it right now anyway so i might be getting a steam deck in the next little while next up is stray on playstation 5 i already beat this it's a rather short game it's like five or six hours it's not very long really enjoy this i'll talk about more about it in my gaming update though um it's it's a very unique kind of game if you like cats and kind of like a stealth game with a really interesting story this might be up your alley and the 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 the, the less you know about it honestly the better that's why i don't really want to talk too much about it then we got uh, so finally some game. I had I had this on Predator such a long time ago, and I decided to uh, add one other game to it because at the time it, to get free shipping from Play Asia, I think that's what it was. If I if I got, had a, a threshold of money uh, of buying something, then you could get free shipping. I think that's what it was, and that's why I got the other game here. But I had pre-ordered Klonoa, and it took forever. This came out in July, and I don't know why it took me. It was almost at the end of like I got it just a few days ago at the very end of September uh, that I finally got it. But this is. Klonoa 1 and 2 uh, remastered on the Nintendo Switch. So happy that we got a physical version even from Play Asia. I'll totally take it. I mean, it's all in English anyway, so I'm perfectly fine with that. This These games just look adorable. And I remember Pete Dore from YouTube early on in YouTube. Uh, he's still around today, but he doesn't do as many videos. He's more so on Twitch. Uh, he was one of the reasons why I, got, I started doing this um, and... Could, uh, he always talked about Klonoa as this as one of his favorite series, so I definitely had to pick this up. And it does look like I would have a lot of fun with it as well. And then I also picked up, not nearly on the same level, Chocobo GP, which is a Mario Kart ripoff with the Chocobo and Final Fantasy series. Um, I got to play as a Moogle, and honestly, it, it's, it's technically not VV. I mean, in the picture, it's VV. 
but I think that it's a black mage. Can I make that? No, I can't. Come on. No, it's not wanting to focus. Anyway, it's actually a black mage, but it's close enough to Vivi. Uh, so I, I, I want to try that out. And I haven't heard the greatest things for it, but it's a cart racer. I'll, I'll have some fun with it. I don't think I talked about this in the last video. So, and I think I, I cause I think I ended up getting it in September. Um, Scarlet Nexus ended up having a sale. Uh, it was on for $20. Uh, so I wanted to pick it up. It is on Game Pass as well, I think, or at least it was for a while, but I wanted, I, I prefer my RPGs on PlayStation or Switch. They just don't feel right on the Xbox. I mean, if there, if there's an Xbox exclusive, obviously I'll play it there. Or like third person uh, Western RPGs. I'm perfectly fine with playing those on the Xbox. I actually, I think I might almost might prefer those. It's I, I don't know how my mind works, but that's kind of how it goes. And this game looks kind of fun. It's one of the first RPGs that we got for the next generation of consoles. And it's like an anime style um, action RPG. Looks like a lot of fun. And then I just picked up an another few games here. Was there another one or is this? Yeah, this was it too. Okay, I think this is it. Uh, Dead Island 1, uh, because I think Dead Island 2 is coming out next year. I think that's what it is. I think it was Dying Light that came out in 2022, the, se the sequel. And then I think Dead Island 2 comes out next year. I think. I could be wrong now. And I also picked up uh, Moving Out. Uh, this seems to be getting uh, getting hard to find a physical copy. I ended up getting this from PNP Games, I believe, here in Canada. Uh, because if, if ever you see that something is out of stock somewhere, PNP in Canada, uh, PNP Games might actually have it, uh, which is really uh, helpful if you're in Canada once again. So that's everything that I picked up in the month of September. Uh, very much look for, looking forward to playing uh, quite a few of these games in the next little while. Uh, Trails from Zero is definitely the one I'm going to be working on, and Splatoon. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's everything I picked up. Thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage!